Darren, first of all, just looking back to the Maidenhead game, brilliant performance, four goals. Is that the perfect start to what's going to be a busy few weeks? Yeah, you can look at it that way, or it's a it's a nice positive continuation of what we we've done um, in the three games prior to that. So, what's what I've probably mentioned already, which is pleasing for me, is the cohesion and the togetherness that we look like we're showing in in the games. Um, you know, one or two of them we've we, we've gone behind as well which sort of adds to the character building that we've come back and gone on in one game so you know it's it's a nice spot to be in at the minute for for everyone the players are happy obviously the fans are in enjoying seeing uh, some results and some and some performances and as we all know you know when you when you get some wins on the table that that sort of gels everyone together so it's a it's it's a good place at the moment i say is this maybe the highest you've seen the camp at the moment, obviously with four wins on the spin. Is this sort of the best you you think we're feeling at the moment? In terms of like results back to back, yeah. you know, that that would probably be the the best place we've been in. But we did start the season well, didn't we? After nine, ten games we was only one defeat or whatever. So we we we've been in a good place before, so um <clears throat> What we can hopefully learn from our early form at the start of the season is how quickly it can change. Mm. So, you know, we've seen both sides of the coin and it's been, we come through a difficult period, um, stuck together, which was pleasing. One or two little Barneys along the way, you know, we're mm. fans and players and, you know, that's that's the game. But what we've done as a club and as a group of people is come together and put this little run of games together, which has changed the mood for everyone. So... We just have to be mindful that we don't take our foot off the gas. We we continue to do what we're doing at the minute and playing well as a team and looking a real threat going forward. Listen, easy said than done, but long may that continue. Obviously, the togetherness within the team is obviously really <coughs> high at the moment, but you yourself were in with the fans at the end of the game yesterday just sort of thanking everyone for coming. It looked like you were having a great time in there. Um, how important <coughs> is that, that we all stay together through life? What well, is going to be a really important part of the season? It's always important to me um, and I like to enjoy them moments because as I know it's been the other way when I've had people swearing at me and telling me this and telling me that so it, you know that's the ups and downs of football but that's why we all love it so you know it, it weren't so long ago I was having um, a heated conversation with a few at Barrow and then you find yourself not, not too long into the future I'm in the crowd of them but yeah. You know, I wanted to I wanted to get amongst them and say thank you and Merry Christmas and whatever, and I was just trying as well not to get me a uh, suede shoes filthy dirty, but they're absolutely ruined. But there you go, I'll take that. I, I I tried to stay off the pitch, but you know, I chose to go round the round the stand and and see the fans and that, and everyone was happy and and going home with a smile on their face, and 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 that's why I love this game the way I do. On to Quarrelwood. Now, <coughs> we all know that it's a game that the fans want to win. What are you expecting from that one? Listen, sometimes you can look at derby games at all levels and say form goes out the window, it's who wants it more and all that. And, you know, I, I get that side of it and, and, and that, that may well motivate one or two of our players uh, or it may not. But what, what I want to see is what I've seen in the last three or four games. You know, a hard-working, sort of well-oiled team at the minute that everyone's got a good understanding of what we're trying to do defensively what we're trying to do when we attack uh, we look a real threat um, and the organisation about us is really good so you know they're the levels that we've set of late and they're the levels that I want to maintain as a minimum and try to improve you know we've got I've got people all over the pitch that are in good form at the minute you know right away from Lochi who's been outstanding for us since he's come in and what they should hopefully be doing now the boys is enjoying their football enjoying being part of a team that's in a, in a good place at the minute and they should that should motivate them to try as hard as they can to stay in that 11 um, whether that's a, a local derby or, or any fixture they, they should be enjoying what they're doing at the minute and, and want to stay in the team